belong to a secular country so we have a lot of religions other than hindu muslim and christian so we can't just you know talk about one aspect of one religion so everyone will not be able to read uh, everything so so i i am strongly against this entire factor that bhagavad gita is should be as a part of syllabus india being one uh, constitution being their main motto is unity in diversity so if they want to impose everything one by one this is just a uh, திருக்குறள் வெல்கம் தான் அதுலேயும் எல்லா கருத்தும் சொல்கிறாங்க ஸோ திருக்குறள் மச் பெட்டர் பகவத்கீதையை விட திருக்குறள் கூட பெட்டர் தான் எனக்கு தெரிஞ்சு நல்லா நல்லதுன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஏன்னா அது ரிலீஜனாக பார்க்காம அதில் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் மட்டும் பார்த்தா அது நல்லா தான் இருக்கும் Uh, it's a technical and the science institute i don't know how they launched the bhagavad gita is one of the unit in this institute uh, it's a uh, it's an unfair approach by the management the anna university regulation committee the anna university for a engineering graduation course they have introduced philosophy and in the philosophy they have offered various texts that includes vedas bhagavad gita socrates plato the vice chancellor of university says when they read socrates and plato they may also read bhagavad gita the most respected vice chancellor must understand that the text of socrates plato and bhagavad gita are not the same because Bhagavad Gita is considered to be a holy book. Bhagavad Gita is a religious text. But whereas Socrates and Plato are philosophical work, in a classroom, a student will question a text. Socrates can be questioned. Plato can be questioned. But what one believes is God speaking to man, can it be questioned? The Vice Chancellor should say, if there is a questioning on the holy scriptures will it be acceptable to the people who believe it so that is why all over the world they consider classroom as a secular place even in a theological state the school and college classrooms are considered secular so what we say is that no religious text religious text of any religion should enter the classroom it should not form part of a curriculum what the students should read and and that too uh, a student of science student of engineering uh, cannot be asked to do that discussing philosophy is something different you can read socrates you can read plato you can read uh, tirukural by tiruvalluvar like it so many uh, secular scriptures uh, secular literatures are available uh in many languages in india so you can ask uh, uh the committees to explore the possibilities and bring in a secular literature uh, instead of a, a holy book or a religious scriptures yes and this college is consists of a lot of different religious uh, people from a different religions are in this college so just imposing one single religion subject is not a good idea and also if it is just imposing stuff and it's not about a single person's interest in studying it so it would be better if it was taken out of the syllabus or out of whatever it's there because i think it should be from one's own interest to study all those things